the best of the week on Relevant Radio. And we are back here on The Inner Life. My name is Patrick Conley. Thanks for joining us. We're talking today about turning the other cheek with our spiritual director, Father Rob Kroll, Jesuit priest and director of spiritual formation at St. Francis de Sales Seminary in Milwaukee. If there's a time when you have been faced with the opportunity to turn the other cheek, we'd love to know what happened and how the Lord worked in your life. 888-914-9149 is the number to call. Let's go back to the phones now with Mary calling in from Northwest Arkansas. Mary, thanks for calling into the show. Hi, good morning. Yeah, so I'm originally from nor- northern Nevada, and I was headed down to the abortion facility in our area to uh, be out there praying and offering help. And there was a situation where I was driving up, and I saw a bunch of counter-protesters. And I thought, oh, my goodness, this is going to be crazy, you know, because here we are. And so our group of people were over on one side and and I drove up and I'm thinking, oh, Lord, uh, you know, give me patience, because I can be a lot like that situation with St. Peter when he struck the soldier's ear and cut it off. And Jesus is like, you cannot do that. <laughs> and mm-hmm. so I can be like that. I'm like, oh, I had that fighting spirit of get out of our, you know, we're trying to do something good. And so I drove up, and I'm like, oh, Lord, I just prayed. I was like, give me the patience, because typically I would want to, you know, come after them. And so I got my big image of Our Lady of Guadalupe out that I typically have there, and I went over to him, and I said, hey, guys, good morning. How are you? And everybody that knows me was like, oh, my goodness, what is she doing, you know? Typically, she's got a fighting spirit, and we didn't want to, you know, have the police called and whatever. And so so uh, they looked at me like, wow, did you just say good morning? And I'm like, so the Holy Spirit was working in me, and I was like, wow, this is awesome, you know, this is not me. They were like, wow, that is such a beautiful image. And I'm like, yeah, this is Our Lady of Guadalupe. And and so we kind of got into talking about it, and some of their other people were looking at the situation too, like, are they talking to her? Like, what is going on here? And so you could totally feel the Holy Spirit working. So I'm like, isn't it great that we can agree on something here, that the beautiful image of Our Lady? And anyways, I ended up having to leave. As I'm leaving, they started packing up their stuff (laughs) and leaving too. And I hung and waved and said, God bless you. You guys have a great day. And they were like, you too. (laughs) They got their cars and everybody was like, wow. And they never came back. (laughs) And that was the Holy Spirit, not my spirit. I'm usually one of the, oh, let's just take care of this and... It was awesome. Thanks, Mary, for sharing that testimony. That is powerful and, yeah, it testifies to the power of God's grace at work in that moment. And as you were sharing that, the phrase that kind of leapt into my mind was this, humanize, not demonize, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, Even with people that we strongly disagree with on a very fundamental life issue like abortion, these are still human beings. They're, They're still, you know, loved by God. Jesus died for them as much as he did for us. He, he looks upon them with great love. He may be sad at sin or at somebody's opposition to the truth, and that's true with every one of us, of course, too. We're not immune from that. So I think to remember that we're, yeah, we're dealing with real human beings, children of God, and also along with that, that we ourselves are not perfect, as we might resist the injustice of someone else, and we might condemn the evil that we see, uh, we have to remember that we're, but for the grace of God, go I, you know, and we're capable of of uh, also committing evil and, and resisting God's grace. So thanks for sharing that, and uh, I think that kind of ties in with that whole meekness. It's not weakness, but meekness means really willing the good of others and always treating them charitably. Yeah, humanize, not demonize. I think that's that's one to put up on the wall. <laughs> and I think, I mean, there's so many circumstances in this day and age where we are invited and sometimes even encouraged to demonize those with whom we disagree mm-hmm. or, you know, with whom we stand in opposition to. Uh, but that is not God's way. And uh, right. even with the very humanizing way, as you pointed out earlier, Father, about Christ humanizing and recognizing the humanity of even those who were putting him to death. Uh, what right. an amazing thing. Mary, thank you for the call and uh, glad that you were able to have the Spirit of God working in and through you in this particularly potentially heated situation. And it sounds like the Spirit mm-hmm. just moved through you to diffuse it all. So wonderful. 